Today we're going to be looking at the Shapton Kormaku 1000 grit sharpening stone. These are short simple review videos done by a real person and not AI, where I show you different sharpening stones for what they are and what you can expect in real life when you buy a particular stone. The Shapton Kormaku 1000 is an 8 and a quarter by 2 and 3 quarter inch stone and currently retails for around $49. These are ceramic splash and go stones, meaning no soaking in water is necessary and actually not recommended. Just a splash of water and you're ready to sharpen. This makes them very quick and easy to use. Feedback on this stone is some of the best that I've ever tested. The ceramic abrasive means it will sharpen just about any steel, however it really slows down with the higher hardness high carbide steels. It will sharpen them, it just takes a lot more time than a similar grit sized bonded diamond stone would. But those are also going to be a lot more expensive. Scratch pattern on these stones is butter, very consistent with nice even scratches. Stropping right off of the stone gives you what I call a good coarse grit edge. I'd still consider this a coarse grit edge even though after stropping you can start to see somewhat of a polish start to develop. Stropping off of the stone gives you a good all around edge for just about everything. The finer stones in this line will start to move towards a polished edge. You would probably want to combine the stone with a coarse grit diamond for profiling. And while I have profiled on the stone, it's not fun and very time consuming. It's just not exactly what this stone is for. So who is this stone for? I'd say it's for people who don't like plated diamond stones and like a more traditional sharpening stone feel and feedback than the kitchen tile like feedback of plated diamond stones without all the mess and fuss of soaking water stones. It is a fun stone to use and I know that's a weird thing to say but every time I use it I think I should use this stone more often. Now I can't say that about every stone in the Korumaku line but we'll save that for another video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.